In this video, I'm gonna give you the single most important tip you need to win your slip and fall case. Let's get started. Hey everybody, Barry here with The Lawful Channel. On this channel, you're gonna find short videos on legal topics that affect our lives every day. Please hit the little red subscribe button, and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to reach out to me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can. According to the Center for Disease Control, one in every five slip and falls result in a serious injury like a fracture or a concussion. And then those people will call a personal injury attorney like myself, and the first question I always ask them is, did you file a report with the store owner or the police department? If you're injured in a slip and fall accident, it is critical, critical to report that accident to the store management or anybody near the location where the accident occurred. It is the strongest evidence of the slip and fall alongside eyewitness testimony. I have received so many phone calls through the years from people involved in a slip and fall accident in a parking lot or wherever it may be. And they felt something, a little pain in their arm or something, but they didn't report it. And then they go home and a couple of days later, the pain is still there. So they go see a doctor. Sure enough, they have torn cartilage in a shoulder or a fracture in their arm or whatever it may be. And they call and report it to store management. And the manager says, look, this accident could have occurred anywhere. How do we know it happened on our premises? Then they call an attorney and I have to tell them the same thing. If you didn't report that accident when it occurred, it becomes very difficult to prove that it actually did happen where you say it did. Now this is not a hard and fast rule. There are exceptions, of course. If you slip and fall somewhere, maybe in a parking lot, and you call 911 and they send an ambulance out to pick you up, even if you don't report it to management at that moment, that's pretty good evidence that the fall took place where you said it did. Likewise, if you were to get in your car and then drive straight to an emergency room and report the facts of and location of the fall to a nurse or a doctor, whoever was treating you, that can also help prove your case as well. So who do you report the slip and fall to? Well, if it occurred at a retail store like a Walmart, I've gotten so many calls of slip and falls at Walmarts and at Home Depots. You call an employee, whoever's close by, and you ask for the manager to fill out a report. Now, if you're able to, by the way, you should also take some photographs, document what exactly it is that you fell on, you, that you slipped and fell on, that's extremely important. And uh, you talk to any witnesses who were there who saw you as well. Just make sure that the manager fills out an incident report. And if you can, get a copy of the report as well. That's good evidence that the accident occurred and it'll go a long way to proving your case. But what if you fell in the street or on a sidewalk? The best thing to do in that situation is to call 911. Now, if you didn't suffer serious injuries, uh, or maybe you're hurting, but you don't think it's that bad, the police may not send an ambulance to pick you up, of course. They may not even investigate. But you can ultimately order the 911 log, and that will demonstrate that you called and reported the slip and fall, and that could help you as well. By the way, if you do fall on a city sidewalk or on a street maintained by the city, and the city you think is responsible, I just want you to be aware that that's a governmental claim and governmental claims follow rules that are a little bit different than traditional slip and fall kind of rules. You're gonna have a much shorter time limit in which to give the city or municipality notice of the incident, and then also likely a shorter time in which to file a lawsuit. So my point is, if you do trip and fall on a sidewalk, for example, don't delay. Talk to a lawyer immediately or file a claim with the city. So now I just wanna give you um, two examples of cases that I worked on and show you how reporting the incident really makes all the difference in terms of whether you get compensated or not. The first case involved a woman who slipped and fell on a sidewalk in front of a private office building. So it was private property, not a governmental claim. She fell and she felt some discomfort in her arm, but she didn't say anything. There was a patch of ice, she didn't see it and she went down. A Couple days later, 
Just as expected, she started to feel more pain in her arm, and sure enough, she went to the hospital, and she suffered a fractured arm. She didn't contact me for a couple months, though, and she did nothing about it as she was recovering. That's not uncommon, by the way. And then ultimately, when she did contact me, you know, there was no ice left over. There was no snow on the ground. Things had warmed up. And she didn't take any pictures of what she had fallen on. So I told her that I'd try to help her out. I got a letter in front of the insurance company, and sure enough, they denied her claim. And I knew that because we didn't have any evidence, specifically the report at the time that the incident happened, our recovery for that case was virtually uh, non-possible. As a result, we were forced to drop that case. Now, contrast that with another case I was involved in. I represented an older gentleman, and he was walking on a private sidewalk in front of a restaurant. And there were two pads in the restaurant, and one was higher than the other. He didn't see the elevation difference, and he tripped and fell, and it resulted in a serious injury to his arm. He went in right away and reported it to the store manager, or the retail restaurant manager, and she took down a report, and she even told our client that she knew about the existence of the, the difference in elevation, and she had reported it to her superiors before. Well, that case was over. We won. Uh, and a big part was because our client didn't wait, he reported it right away to the manager. So in case you haven't figured it out yet, the moral of the story is always report a slip and fall accident. Okay, it's time for your take on the law. Did you slip and fall in a retail store or at a restaurant or on a sidewalk? Did you report it right away? How did it work out for you? Tell us about it in the comments section below. Hey, thanks everybody for checking out this video on slip and fall accidents. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We post content every other week on the legal topics that affect our lives. And if you have any questions or comments about any legal topic, please feel free to reach out to me. If I can't help you, I'll find someone who can.